Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, today I am sharing a video using the piggies. Um, this little piggy stamp set. I adore this. It's just the cutest thing ever. Um, and I came up with this card design. So it says this little piggy says, Happy birthday! <laughs> and I really just love um Love the card. I want to show you one little tip um, that you can do with the greetings on stamps um, and we will get started and make this card. So first things first, we'll start with our background card which is in um, the new um, powder pink. And I'm going to use the one and a half circle punch and I'm going to go ahead and punch in. Now I'm kind of leaving, it's it's not an exact measurement, but I'm kind of leaving about a um, about an inch gap, something like that at the top. No more certainly, um, between the edge of the punch and the top. And I'm going to punch out that circle out of the powder pink. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to make my frame. Okay. And I'm doing this with a piece of um, the fresh fig. Now, the easiest way to make a frame is I'm going to go ahead with the fresh fig, fig and I'm going to punch out again that um, one and a half inch circle punch. And then I'm going to take one of the stitched um, shape framelits and it's the second smallest one of the circles and I'm going to place that over the top bring in the big shot line that up so that that's, that looks pretty even all round and then I'm just going to run that through and it's much easier to do it that way round to make the hole in the middle first and then cut the edge round. If I pop that out, there you go, there's our little, our little circle. And I will go ahead and put some uh, Tombow on there, little dots. Combo around the edges and pop that on and that will obviously frame where that piggy is going to peek through. Okay, let's go ahead and colour and uh, cut and colour our pigs. So I have a little um, piece here now. This is shimmery white cardstock and I've got that at two inches square. I'm going to stamp my pig. Now here's the thing that I was going to tell you about the greetings. So all of these piggies have really cute greetings like hogs and kisses and this little piggy. Um, and so I, but I decided I might want to change this around and have different pigs with different greetings. So I've gone ahead on my red rubber stamps and, shock horror, cut off the greetings on each and every one. And in fact, on the um, says thanks, so, so this is set up so that it says this little piggy says thanks, I've actually cut off the says as well, because our little piggy is going to say happy birthday. So I'm going to use the um, basic grey archival ink to stamp my piggies. And we're going to have that one, or this little piggy here going on the inside. Now if like me you're going to use aqua painters to paint your piggies, um, either heat set the grey ink or just give it a moment or two to dry. It doesn't take long but you don't want to go straight in with water on there. Let's move the camera a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to peer around it just a little and I'm going to take some of the powder pink ink and colour in my piggies. And with the um, shimmery white paper, it makes this a breeze. It's so much easier to do than on the um, the Whisper White. It doesn't pill. 
um, it enables you to um, build up colour so you can go ahead and add extra go back and add extra where you want to which you really can't easily do with Whisper White you have to be quick and then leave it alone otherwise it can it can muck it up you can see I can just get away with blending that piggy's face and again adding some more colour just where you would have a bit of shadow Another little tip for you today, um, if you are um, squeezing water into the lids of your ink when you're watercolouring, take a tissue and give it a wipe out before you close the lid. What you don't want to do is to come back next time and squeeze that ink back in again because you will transfer some of the water into the ink pad. It's, it's kind of not a deal breaker, but it's not the best way to, um, to look after your uh, to look after your inks um, and I'm going to take a little bit of the the green and this is the new um, I'm going to have to look <laughs> you would think I would have learned these by now um, that is Tranquil Tide it's because I'm thinking what it, what is the G that goes with it for green but it isn't, it's Tranquil Tide so I'm going to just put a little bit of, of Tranquil Tide along there and colour in and for the flower I'm actually just going to take some Daffodil Delight on a marker and colour that in There's my two little piggies. Super cute. Okay, and then we're going to layer those up um, on some more of the fig cardstock. So that one's going on there. And this one on here. And I'm just going to stick those on with some Tombow glue. stamping now so we're going to have the um, this little piggy and the says so there's my this little piggy there's my little says In fact, I'll put that on a put that on a little block there um, and then the happy birthday that I'm going to use is actually from the happy birthday gorgeous stamp set this one down here very pretty fonts on those. And then the final one I'm going to mount up is just the little cloud. And this again comes out of the, this little picky stamp set. So let's go back to our powder pink. Decide exactly where I'm going to have my little piggy and I'll pop him up on some dimensionals. down here. I've just realised my camera is still down. Let's move that up so you can see a little bit. It's a little bit more of an overview there. Um, and with this little piggy that's going on the inside, what I need to do is to make sure he's lined up in the right place. Um, and this is where Tombo is your friend because you have some wiggle room when you put it down. So I'm going to position my piggy so I know he's roughly in the right place and then open and make sure I've got the got it straight on the inside because you don't want that to look isn't that cute you, and you can see him through so I'm going to start off with um, in fact we'll use the smoky slate and say 
this little piggy. And says, and I obviously last time I did that in black, I can see that's quite pale. So maybe you should be doing that in black. So we've got this little piggy says, ah, I know why, because I've picked up smoky slate instead of basic grey. That could be why. <laughs> what happens when you have too many things out on your, um, on your desk? I'm going to put the happy birthday down at the bottom here on this one. There we go. So this little piggy says happy birthday. And then I'm going to take the cloud image and just stamp over. It just gives a nice little finish to the card. So I'm probably going to go and stamp those on some other little pieces and do those in a darker colour because it's a little bit pale for me there. Um, but I think that's a really fun card and I hope you think so too. So thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. We shall be back with more piggies on the blog. So if you don't, um, if you only see me on YouTube, you're missing out. Pop over and have a look at me on the blog. But if you are on YouTube, um, give me a thumbs up. That really helps a lot and helps me able to, to carry on bringing you videos like this. So thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. And I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.